Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me, Cody, here, and I'm coming at you guys today with an unboxing. Yes, an unboxing, or more of an unboxing first impressions type of thing. But I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions lately, on how come I don't do unboxings anymore, and they seem to be popular, so I thought I'd go ahead and throw one up. Now, the title probably gives it away, but this is an unboxing of the Jabra Stone 2 Bluetooth headset, a brand new headset from Jabra. So let's go ahead and open this up, and ooh, bubble wrap. The kids absolutely will love that. But let me go ahead and put this to the side, and just a packaging slip. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look, open this up. And here is the brand new Jabra Stone 2. Looks pretty sweet. Let me see, I gotta take it out the package. Here's a closer look without the uh, plastic covering it. As you can see, this one is a glossy finish. This one's available at AT&T. They also have a leather finish, which is available at Verizon. Now, from what it looks like, the design looks exactly the same as the original Jabra Stone. You have your Bluetooth headset, and you clip it into the stone. And the stone is actually a carrying case and a charger all in one. Some of the features include ultimate comfort with four different earpieces, noise blackout extreme, 10 hours of talk time. You can stream music straight to the headset. You can take calls with your voice, and you can charge on the go. Also, underneath where the headset and the stone come, it looks like we have a few extra goodies. Alright, so I went in and laid out all the extras so we can see what we have. And it looks like we have two user manuals, one in English, one in Spanish. A warranty information card. Three extra silicone tips, which is more than they provided with the original Jabra Stone. And we also have this little rubber piece, and I know exactly what this does. It goes along with the clip. Now along the bottom side of the Jabra Stone, there's a little hole, and you can go ahead and insert the clip into that hole, so you can use it as a clip-on, or you can go ahead and insert the rubber piece to prevent dust from going into there. We also have a micro USB wall charger, that's the same as the original stone, and a USB to micro USB charger, so you can charge it from your computer. Alright, so my initial impression on the Stone 2 is that it's very nice, but it's also very similar to the original Stone. It has just about the exact same design as the original stone, aside from the glossing and the leather finish, and it does cover all the same features as the original stone, but it does have a few extra features. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out for a week or so, and I'm going to come back to you guys with my full review and my overall opinion on whether the Jabra Stone 2 is worth it or not. So go ahead and stay tuned for that, and I will catch you all later. Peace.